name is Jerry Yoon. I'm a former managing director at RBS in Hong Kong and a CFE graduate. In a three-part video series, I'll be talking about option trading with and without the Black-Scholes model. We'll start off with talking about how traders don't really need the Black-Scholes formula to price options. Option traders don't really use the Black-Scholes model in practice. There's very little use for this famous and celebrated model in their lives. Although the Black-Scholes formula is a beautiful piece of mathematics, originally inspired by physics, traders and market makers do not really need it to price plain vanilla options. First and foremost, students of quantitative finance have to understand that the Black-Scholes model is merely a valuation tool. It is a piece of mathematics with which we value call and put options. However, in the marketplace, traders don't first value options and then trade. They come up with a compatible price as they are about to enter a trade to buy or sell options. From there, the price may be quite different from its theoretical value derived from the Black-Scholes formula. A trader does not need the Black-Scholes option formula, or for that matter, any mathematical model when pricing options. The price of a call or put option can be found out from the prices of other tradable options in the marketplace. Using put-call parity, which exists independent of Black-Scholes, and certain rules that dictate compatibility with other options, a trader can price any option, at least any vanilla option. Rules such as an option with strike X cannot trade lower than an option with strike X plus delta X, or for that matter, a call struck at X and a call struck at X plus 2 delta X together cannot cost less than twice the price of a call struck at X plus delta X. For pricing options, there is no need for a math model. A trader is always pricing an option, call or a put, that is compatible with the price of other options in the marketplace. That is his or her job. One has to understand this. Valuation comes after the trade. In that sense, Black-Scholes or other mathematical models is more for a risk manager or quantitative analyst. As Nassim Taleb correctly says, options valuation is a top-down science, and traders don't need top-down science. Any seasoned trader will tell you this. Options trading, at least as far as it is done by market makers, is all about order flow and inventory. In that sense, an option trader is only concerned with the demand and supply in the market. Traders don't really care about the probability distribution at expiration time, which is what Black-Scholes is all about. A trader or market maker is both buying and selling options, and he hedges the inventory risk of his book with other options. Again, it's all about market forces that dictate demand and supply. Since the financial crisis, there's been a lot of talk about extreme events, the so-called black swans, and how a lot of traders didn't see all that coming. How quant models, Black-Scholes, or whatever you had out there didn't incorporate these extreme events in them. But one thing needs to be understood very clearly. Traders don't ever incorporate the probability of extreme moves in their price. Even when they are marking up the volatility of out-of-money options, it is not really in anticipation of a crash, as many textbooks on financial derivatives profess. But that action is just a function of demand and supply. Stay tuned for more on options trading. Thank you for watching.